Hey everybody, we have the John Deere 45, 4055 hooked up to the Rotopress silage bagger. Um, this is a neighbor's um, silage bagger that we borrow. Uh, I'm not, this is the only one I've ever used. Uh, we do have a neighbor further up that has a Kelly Ryan and I've seen other people with their um, ag bags. Uh, this is a little different. It doesn't, I think the Kelly Ryan one and the ag bag are pretty similar. I, I guess they got fingers or something that once it gets, once the silage goes to the top and drops in, it, it packs it in that way. This has a corkscrew auger. You put this big anchor down and this big corkscrew turns and it packs it in that way. Um, it's got an eight foot tunnel. My dad's going to grab a bag right now. Um, he's grabbing a 200 foot bag, so it'll be 200 feet long. Like I said, with an eight foot tunnel, it's pretty simple. Um, you set it up, you have brakes where you can adjust, you adjust how much tension's on there and that the more tension you have on your brakes, the tighter your bag's going to be. Um, yeah, like I said, it's just a big corkscrew that goes through there and presses that all in. Oh, excuse me. Runs on a 540 PTO. Um, the PTO runs the corkscrew and the hydraulic line runs this conveyor that takes everything up. There is a hand crank right here. Hand crank that you lower, lower that down. You want it just off the ground, obviously, or else it's not going to drag properly. Um, tractor goes into neutral and the bag this will slowly push the bag or push the bag it'll pack silage into the bag and push the tractor forward you want to make sure that your wheels are straight otherwise you're gonna have a weird shaped bag um, this doesn't have the cables I know I don't know about Kelly Ryan baggers but I know ag bag has the big not screen but the big thing that comes to the end with cables up each side that you can that helps you put tension on there and I'm not sure if they have brakes or not. Um, uh, if any of you guys know, um, drop a comment below and let me know. Uh, like I said, I've never used one of them, so I'm not sure if they have brakes or not on them. Um, yeah, I think I know they got the cables. That's for sure, because um, you don't want if you start going and not straight and turning the cables could cut into the bag i've heard of that happening but anyway no cables on this um the bag gets this bracket here obviously this is an old used one but it still works pretty good this gets lowered down we're going to set the bag on it crank it back up slide it back into place the bag will be over here we use this bungee and the strings to connect the bag so it stays here and this slowly as it pushes, um, another fold of bag comes out and it just packs it tight. So we got the bagger all set up. Um, bag's on. We're ready to go. When you pull the bag out, it basically looks like this. It's all folded up. It's got these folds and it's opened on both ends. So obviously you put it on, on the bagger. Oh, it is a muddy mess here. Then you have to pull a bunch of slack out. Pull a bunch of slack out. You gotta fold it up. Uh, I folded it up, put a two by six on the bottom, two by six on the top, put some screws through it. And uh, what we'll do is we'll take that board and we'll kind of tuck it underneath itself into here while we're filling that first load. And uh, that's what'll kind of give it that nice round back to it. Um, got a bungee cord that kind of sits in this, there's a groove that it sits in right here. And that kind of keeps everything, the whole thing back and allows it to take kind of one fold at a time as it's packing. So, um, I'm going to fire everything up, let it warm up, grease the last bit of things that need to be greased. And my dad's coming down, he's going to head out and do some chopping and I'm going to start bagging some uh, corn silage. So we're going to get started. Uh, there's no way he can make it all the way around this field, so I gotta follow him nice and slow.
Uh, this is Pioneer 1440. I was watching a live stream the other night from, uh, change his name, let me think if I can remember it. Farming, fixing, and fabricating. Uh, I was in between feet and cows, so I watched his live stream for a little bit. I believe this is the same corn that he was chopping. So, great job anyway, great job on the live stream, Andrew. It was really interesting to see that, that big equipment go. corn silage.
really appreciate that joke. Corn's looking good. Chopper's running good. He's filling these wagons right up. In all seriousness about the speed hitches, or quick hitches, or whatever they're called, um, I've been asked a few times uh, on my chopping videos, what do we think about them, or do we think we get them? Maybe someday, uh, we'll see. Uh, my dad still, he still finishes up before me. Uh, with these 16 foot wagons, he can get done chopping before me. So he's kind of just hanging out waiting anyway. So he doesn't mind walking over and un unhooking them. If he sits in the tractor too long, he, he starts getting stiff. And so it's good for him to get out and walk around. But maybe someday we'll look at getting, getting them. Uh, I think they're a great idea. It's just spending the money and getting them, so we'll see. Nice tall corn. Must have heard me on the last load. Now I'm his speed hitch. Make a comment about your father, it always comes back to bite you. Look who I got riding with me now. Say hi. Hi. What are we doing? Filling up the bag with what? With diamonds. Good boy. Let's go get another wagon, okay? Yeah. All right. You learning how to do this? No. No? I figured if you learn how to do it, then Daddy wouldn't have to do it when you get a little bigger. Daddy can stay home and drink coffee. No? Worth a shot. start out too good um he had the wrong tractors on everything my brother wanted to try the 4055 on the bagger and run wagons with the 4040 uh he claimed the 4040 was heating up last year uh so he wanted a bigger tractor on the bagger so we tried it and the 4040 just wasn't wasn't cutting it on these wagons uh, in the mud it was pushing the tractor all over the place and so i made the call to switch the tractors once i switched the tractors it did a great job. We were able to get we were able to get a lot done once I uh, once I slapped the tractors back to the way it should have been, and uh, I haven't had any problems with the 4040 heating up on me yet. So, so anyway, we got a few loads. To, well, we got about 10 loads done today, which is pretty good. Like I said, not what we want, what I wanted to. I wanted to do. I think we should have gotten a lot more, but. Anyway, if you look down, got a lot of corn to go. Uh, we'll top off this bag in no time and uh, fill the silo with this. So we had the guy from Center State Ag from out of Mooresville. Uh, he was down yesterday and uh, serviced the silo. But this is still a little too too green, too wet for the silo. Um, we want it a little, little on the drier side. Not too dry. You want it just right. Not too dry, but drier than, than you would a bunk or a bag. So, um, anyway, hope you guys like this video. Uh, thank you, John Murray, for sending me that nice message on Instagram. Uh, wonder when the next video is going to be in for the kind words. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Hope you guys like this video. Drop me a comment or question below. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thumbs up to you if you have. Um, 
thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, all that good stuff. We are in. We are in it now. Now the fun begins. Corn harvest, soybean harvest, all that fun stuff. So stay tuned to more videos. And I will see you guys later.